Hello guys, welcome back to World News Channel today. We are working on Igbo Presidency. Ohaneze Amechi Izogu orders. The Enugu Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohaneze Ndi Igbo, Alai Igbo Foundation, Igbo National Congress, among others, yesterday agreed that a president of Igbo extraction is achievable in 2023 as the Igbo are working towards its realization. This came as an ex Biafran soldier and prominent traditional ruler in Enugu state, Igwe Spencer Uguoke, expressed doubt over the realization of a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction in 2023 because Ndi Igbo lacks unity of purpose. Ugoke, who is the traditional ruler of Obimo Autonomous Community in Nsuka local government area of Enugu State, insisted that lack of unity of purpose by the Igbo and deficient political structure would make it difficult for them to realize the dream. The, the monarch said Ndi Igbo cannot be talking from both sides of the mouth without any recognizable leader and hope to capture a presidential seat in 2023. This country has many miracles that occur at their own time, but I must tell you that there is no indication that an Igbo man will emerge president of Nigeria in 2023. This is because the Igbo have refused to forge a common font politically, unlike what we have in other major ethnic groups in Nigeria. Even the minority tribes are more united than the Igbo. Though the president of Hane Zendi Igbo worldwide, Chief Nayangwodu, has improved the status of the Igbo in terms of achieving common ambition, there are still a lot to be done. Even among us, there are still some of us sabotaging Nwodu's efforts. We have to go back to Hane Zendi Igbo and make it the authentic mouthpiece of the Igbo because as it stands now, the organization is deficient, inequitable representations of the different traditional institutions in Southeast, which is why it is difficult to speak with one voice. You always hear of Oane Zendi Igbo, Lagos, Abuja, Jos, South Africa, and what have you. This is wrong. And it is the origin of the discordant tunes affecting our political fortunes in Nigeria. Where have you seen the Obar of Benin and Sultan of Sokoto being countered by their subjects? It only happens in the southeast. When you are looking for something, you should not create enemies. You cannot be opposing Buhari's administration and expect him to back you up for the presidency in 2023. Let's create a platform to promote the pains of the Southeast as a geopolitical zone that has not produced a president. Let's get leaders of thought, traditional rulers, and chairmen of the State Council of Chiefs to meet their counterparts in other geopolitical zones for support. Let our politicians put their interest in a common pot for the interest of the zone and not the originators of discordant tunes. Igbo presidency is realizable, but there has to be a long-term plan geared towards achieving it. It is not possible in 2023, Igwe Spencer said. Disagreeing with Igwe Ugwoke, the umbrella organization of the Igbo said Igbo presidency is achievable in 2023. Ohane Zendi Igbo, through its spokesman, Uche Achi Obaga, said Igbo presidency is achievable, adding that there is nothing like lack of unity of purpose as all Igbo cannot be in one political party or think alike. He said that Hane Zendi Igbo has been galvanizing both Igbo and other ethnic groups and all parts of the country towards achieving this project. First Republican politician Chief Mbazulike Amechi berated those who think that Igbo presidency is not realizable. 
describing such people as enemies of Ndibu. He said that if the presidency of other sections of the country as possible, then the Igbo presidency is more possible and have more potentials of realization than others. His words, in politics, just like in anything else, nothing is impossible. So the traditional ruler who said that the Igbo presidency is not possible is out of reality. He is not being realistic. Igbo presidency, like every other political action, is possible. However, Igbo presidency does not mean that Igbo man will be president of Igbo alone. For an Igbo man to become the president of Nigeria, he has to be the president of Nigerians in general, not just Igbo people. He has to be president of all Nigerians and Nigeria as a country. He has to be for everybody in Nigeria. I have always told Ndibu that to produce the president of Nigeria, we have to be organized. You have to strategize. You have to plan. You have to work to produce the president that will be for all Nigerians. To be the president of Nigeria, you have to have handshakes across the Niger, across the Benue. You have to reach out. You must recognize the fact that Northern Nigeria has a large population and there is nobody who can be president of Nigeria without the support and the cooperation of a large section of the North. So, the Igbo man who will be the president must have the support of a considerable section of the North. The same thing is applicable to the West. He must have the support of the West. Igbo votes alone cannot give anybody presidency of Nigeria. And so, for an Igbo man to become president in Nigeria, he must reach out and make friends and also make sure that his political party has the spread to help him secure the seat of the president. So whoever that is saying Igbo presidency is not possible after meeting all these conditions does not know what he is talking about. In fact, he is an enemy of Ndi Igbo. So if you are asking me about the possibility, honestly, it is possible. There is every possibility of achieving it. It is possible and I must say I am personally working for that. Seriously, I am personally working for that. We can achieve it and I am putting much effort in the work I am doing for that. Remember, since after the Civil War, many sections of the country Many influential people in Nigeria do not still believe that the war has ended. Some of them are still fighting the war collectively against Ndi Igbo. But the Igbo have ignored them and gone ahead in spite of those people. And I am encouraging Ndi Igbo to continue doing what they have been doing and not look back to avoid being discouraged. Another top Igbo leader, Ezekiel Izuogu, said, the Igbo have to be faithful members of their party. They have to believe in the ideology of the party. If you are a progressive, you must be a progressive that Nigerians know and not just pretending to be in a political party. You must believe in their ideology and then work with it and emerge as the candidate of the party if you are good. For example, he said, Olusegun Obasanjo emerged from the southwest and even though the Yoruba did not vote for PDP, the whole nation agreed that the presidency should go to the southwest. I am appealing to Nigerians to let us have the same mind. The Igbo have not gotten this since Nigeria was created. Let us concede it to them and it will also help them to forget the issue of civil war and believe that they are wanted by other Nigerians. That will also stop the issue of Biafra. Because immediately you give the presidency of the, to the Igbo, the issue of Biafra will end and that will allow the country to be a better place for Igbo and other Nigerians. Speaking also, the president of Igbo National Council, INC, Chilo's consent, was of the view that the first thing to do is harmonize the internal political structure and build alliances with other political blocs. 
then we will move into the three most popular political parties and bring up popular and credible persons that can be saleable. Wow. So guys, what do you have to say concerning this? Do you think um, Igbo presidency would allow the struggle for Biafra to die down? Do you think the Northerners would cede power, would concede and give power to the Igbos? What do you have to say concerning this? Drop your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.